You know, one of the things I've really learned in my own long life and my own career as a therapist is that there's a real place for practice, for actually making efforts inside your own mind, not being simply inert or passive or swept along by your own reactions or feeling helpless that there's nothing you can do. Actually, we can practice. We can take action inside our own inner world and in the process of doing that, exert a fundamental independence, a kind of autonomy, a sort of scruffy moxie that says, no, uh, my life might be pushed around, my body might be pushed around, but deep down inside my own mind, I'm still able to take power. I'm still able to take action and do things for myself that are good for me and often for others as well. Implicit in these practices is the fundamental idea that there are always things that we can do to learn and heal and grow. It's interesting, one of the main turning points of my life happened when I was about 15 years old. I was very unhappy, miserable, neurotic, contracted, really awkward with other people, and not at all doing well. And there was a kind of turning point in which I suddenly realized that while I could do nothing about the unhappiness and misery in my past, and in fact, in the moment, there was nothing I could do about what I was actually experiencing at the time. But every day, even every hour, even every minute of every day, had opportunities in it to recognize what was true and to learn and to become better at various things and to develop myself and to grow. That was revelatory. That was fantastic. That made me feel hopeful rather than despairing. The idea that, you know, wherever we are is wherever we are, but from here, we can actually improve, we can observe, we can become more skillful inside our own being. And that is incredibly good news. Two key points about that. One, no one can stop you from learning and growing inside your own mind. No one can stop you. On the other hand, no one can do it for you. We are each fundamentally responsible for who we are becoming. When we do these kind of practices, we know that we've earned the fruits. And this is not some kind of superficial, positive psychology kind of thing. This is not a quick fix. This is not fake it till you make it. This is not looking at things with rose-colored glasses. This is growing the good inside yourself, one breath at a time, one minute at a time, one day at a time, in ways that feel legitimate and authentic from the inside out, with results that you will see in your experience directly, and increasingly over time, people will see in you as well.